Hello friends, thank you for tuning in and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this practical based video, I'll be showing you about how do we determine and calculate the plant density, abundance and frequency percentage by adopting the universally accepted vegetation sampling method called the quadrate method. So to begin with, for better understanding, let's start with this. Let us assume that we are interested in knowing how many individual of species and overall number of species are present in this given plot or this habitat of interest. Practically, it is impossible to count the plant, individuals and species one by one. Therefore, to sample the plant population, the representative informations are collected by adopting the quadrate method of sampling using quadrates. So, for estimation of herbs, a 1 meter by 1 meter quadrate is used, and for estimation of shrubs, a 3 meter by 3 meter quadrate is used. For demonstration purposes, First, randomly throw a 1 by 1 square meter quadrates in this plot and let this be our quadrate 1. And for demonstration purposes, let us assume that these are the different plant species within the quadrate 1. Now, if possible or if you have knowledge of the plant names, then identify the name of the different plant species that are present within the quadrate 1. For example, species A, what is the name of the species A, B, name of the species B, and similarly for the other species present within the quadrates. Otherwise, if you are new in the field of plant study, so for practical purposes, select and name the species as, say, species A, B, C, D, and so on and so forth, or species 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth for the species that are found within the quadrates 1. Then, after which, assess or confirm how many number of plant species are present within the quadrate 1. For example, in this demonstration, let there be 16 number of species. So the 16 species are from A to P or from 1 to 16. So that is the number of species present in quadrate 1. The next, one species at a time, say species A, you start to count the total number of individual of species A present within the quadrate 1 and then record the data. And let's see, in this demonstration, we have found a species A. There are nine individual species A present in this quadrant. So we'll write species A is equal to nine. And similarly, in the same manner, you count the number of individual of species B present in the quadrant one. And let's say there are five species. So species B, B is equal to five. So, in this same manner, repeat process for the rest of the other 14 species present within the quadrate 1. And then record the data. So, for example, let's say, these are the final or the complete data for the species and the number of individual of the species present in quadrate 1. So, with that, quadrate 1 data is complete. Then, again, so continue this same procedure for quadrate 2, quadrate 3, 4, 5, 6, till whatever the required number of quadrates. So for this demonstration, let us assume that we have carried out 6 quadrate sampling in the habitat of interest. And let's say these are the final data coded in your field records or notebook and are compiled in a final data sheet. And it is when you have this data, then only we will be able to quantify the plan, community, quantitative characteristics and 
that is done by determining the density, abundance and frequency percentage of the plant species present within the habitat of interest. And through this data, the comprehensive information about the herbs population throughout the quadrate sample in the habitat of interest will be obtained. With that, now we'll move on to the next part. That is, what do you mean by plant density? The plant density is actually an expression of the numerical strength of a plant species. Or in other words, it is simply referred to the number of individual of the particular species present within the unit area studied. And the formula for calculation of plant density is density is equal to the total number of individuals of the species in all the quadrates studied divided by the total number of quadrates studied. So the density value that you will obtain after calculating using the formula are expressed in individual per square meter. And this value will give us an information about the degree of competition between the species that are found within the habitat of interest. Next, what is abundance or plant abundance means? Abundance is the number of individual of any species per sampling unit of occurrence. So to calculate abundance and get the idea which species are found in abundance in particular area, the formula for abundance is abundance is equal to total number of individual of a species in all quadrates divided by the total number of quadrates in which species has occurred. Next, plant frequency. Frequency is the number of sampling unit in which a particular species occur and is usually expressed in percentage. And to avoid confusion, remember that frequency percentage is not about the number of species but it is about how many times the species are recorded in the habitat of interest. Therefore, it will give us an information about the distribution of the species in the, the habitat of interest. And the formula for calculation of frequency percentage is equal to total number of quadrates in which species has occurred divided by the total number of quadrates studied into 100. In this video, I would like to take few minutes to share with you the tricks of how to remember this formula without getting mixed up or confused. So the trick is very simple, which involves two simple steps. And step number one is, the first step which is very important, which you have to memorize, and that is, let A is equal to the total number of individual of the species in all quadrates, and let B is equal to total number of quadrates studied. And let C be equal to the total number of quadrates in which the species has occurred. Now once you memorize this, then step 2 is, just write DEF is equal to a big airplane can cause billions. Where D stands for density, E for abundance and F for frequency. And in this portion, just take the initial of this sentence. So D is equal to AB, E is equal to AC, and F is equal to CB. And now we already know what is A, what is B, and what is C. By remembering this, and I am sure you'll never forget this formula ever again. Next, let me take you through the procedure for calculation of plant density, abundance, and frequency percentage using Microsoft Excel. 
The same step can be also followed even if you have to do the calculation manually. First, open Microsoft Excel sheet. And let us assume that this is the final data sheet compiled for the experiment. And as mentioned earlier, let us assume we encountered 16 different plant species from the six different quadrates that we laid down in the habitat of interest. To start the calculation step procedure, just follow this trick that I have shared with you earlier. So what you have to do? First, insert the component A, B and C. And what is A? If you remember, A is equal to the total number of individual of the species in all quadrates. And B is the total number of quadrates studied. C is the total number of quadrates in which a species has occurred. After this, now next is you just have to insert the next step in the trick that is D, E and F where D stands for density, E for abundance and F for frequency. And the trick is D, F is equal to a big aeroplane can cause billions. Now if you just take the initial of this sentence that I'm so D is equal to AB, A is equal to AC, and F is equal to CB. And now we already know what is A, what is B, and what is C. So after this has been requirement has been filled, we can now initiate the calculation of density, then abundance, then the frequency percentage. So to start with, first go to the column where there is A. So all you know, A is equal to the total number of individual of a species in all quadrates. So out of the six quadrates studied or laid down, what is the total number of individual species A in all quadrates? It is the sum of all the values of Species A obtained from 6 quadrate and that value will be the total number of individual in the entire habitat of interest. Similarly, do the same for all the species present in the habitat of interest. Next, now let's move on to the second part of the formula and this is very simple. How many quadrates we laid down in our study? In our study in the habitat of interest, it is 6. So the value here will be 6. So for your information, the value you have to insert here depends on the number of the quadrates laid down in this study. Now next we'll move on to the third section or third part of the formula that is C. C is equal to the total number of quadrates in which the species occurred or is present. So in this section, you only have to count how many times the species occur or present out of the total number of quadrates laid down. For example, species A. Out of the six quadrate, it occur four times. So the value here will be four. Next, species B. Out of six quadrates studied, species B occur three times or is present in three quadrates. So the value here will be 3. So in the same manner, repeat the same procedure for all the species encountered during the study in the habitat of interest. Now once this data has been calculated, now we can start or determine the density, abundance and frequency value of each and every species encountered in the study area. So first, let's calculate for density. D is equal to A, the value of A for species A divided by the B value of species A. And that will give us the density value of, of species A. Double click this for the rest of the species and that will be your density value for all the species encountered in the habitat of interest. 
नेक्स्ट अबंडेंस इज इक्वल टू ए डिवाइडेड बाय सी ए वैल्यू इज दिस डिवाइडेड बाय सी एंड दैट विल गिव यू द अबंडेंस वैल्यू ऑफ स्पीसीज ए एंड सिमिलरली ड्रैग इट फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द अदर स्पीसीज एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इक्वल टू सी डिवाइडेड बाय बी so the value of c is this and b is this into 100 and that will give you the frequency percentage of species a and in the same manner you drag the rest of the species and that's how you'll obtain the frequency percentage for all the other species so this is the advantage of using a microsoft excel sheet however in case you have to calculate it manually then you have to do the calculation one by one for each and every section of the formula so with this we now have obtained the density abundance and frequency value of all the 16 species encountered during the sampling period in the habitat of idris so with that In short, let us just interpret the results obtained from the data. So, based on this hypothetical study, we can conclude that species C have the highest density value when compared to other species in this study, and the density value is six point eight three individual per square meter. And in terms of abundance, based on that data obtained. Species A is said to be the most abundant species found in the study area or the habitat of interest. And in terms of frequency percentage, the distribution of species C and species H is said to be highest with frequency percentage of one hundred percent. That is, species C and H are uniformly distributed in the A habitat of int. So with that, we have now come to an end of this video, and I hope this video will help many who are interested in learning this topic, especially those students who are in the initial stage of the study. And before I end, humbly request you to kindly take a few seconds to please kindly like. share and subscribe to my work and your support of any kind will be greatly appreciated and once again thank you so much and god blessed